Your Excellency Fitzumara Gai, Ethiopian Ambassador to the United States, welcome to the Voice of America. Thank you. Thank you, Hayes. So, how are you acclimating to American life? I'm, I'm doing fine, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been to the United States earlier before, or this is your first time? I've been before many times. Okay, so uh, as an ambassador, did you present your credentials to President Trump? Yes, yesterday. And uh, how was that? I think it was excellent. Um, I, I was really honored to present my credentials uh, within 10 days uh, since I arrived. And that's uh, the importance that the uh, United States attaches to, to Ethiopia. That's how I see it. And um, uh, I had uh, a wonderful meeting with uh, President Donald Trump. Um, uh, he raised uh, issues that are, um, that are of uh, common interest between Ethiopia and the United States. He appreciated uh, the reform that are going on in Ethiopia. And also he remarked that uh, Ethiopia is uh, uh, a shining star uh, mm. when it comes to uh, the reform uh, in Africa. Uh, so uh, the reform that helps the uh, private sector uh, to expand, the reform that enables um, uh, opposition political parties to participate. Uh, it's a country now that has no jailed um, journalists yeah. and is becoming exemplary in many fronts, like becoming inclusive government uh, uh, when it comes to gender. We have the first and the only uh, female head of state. Uh, and uh, Supreme Court judge, half a cabinet members are all women. Uh, so uh, he appreciated, you know. Uh, and uh, on your t Twitter account, uh, there was something about Ivanka Trump. Could you talk to us a little about that? Yes, I, I had a chance to meet her. At uh, the White House? At the White House oh. in Oval Office yesterday. Okay. Uh, President Trump introduced uh, me to her. Ah. And, uh, While you were presenting your yes, credentials? Yes. Wow. And he also uh, mentioned that she, she will be traveling next week to, to Ethiopi Ethiopia. Wow. Uh, wow. So wow. that's a great honor for us. Uh, On what grounds? Why, why is she traveling to Ethiopia? I think she had an initiative uh -huh. uh, to uh, bring all uh, entrepreneur, women entrepreneur ah. uh, in some... Uh, I mean, uh, support. Okay. Uh, and also to, I think it's uh, empowering uh, business women. Very good. Yeah. So basically, um, we'll get to your diplomatic duties in a moment. But first, uh, a broader uh, uh, question. What is the state of Ethiopia right now? Uh, you know, Ethiopia has been... Uh, uh, doing great reforms in the past one year. Since Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed came to power, uh, a lot of things happened. And um, these reforms have brought many positive results. Uh, as you, you can understand, uh, any and, and change. You, yeah, you mentioned the, the reforms earlier. What I am trying to uh, ask is, um, the, the security and stability of the country, you know, there are grave, grave concerns, you know, recent killings. I was going to come to that, you know, yes. uh, any, any change, any reform has side effects. So uh, I see those as uh, side effects. Uh, the current government uh, is focusing on uh, explaining to the people that um, rule of law should be respected and uh, instead of uh, making it by force first is warning educating uh, but now is saying enough is enough uh, so economic what, stability what, as what well. i see the challenge is 
uh, we really no need to have the right strike, the right balance mm -hmm. between democracy and rule of law. So I feel we miss that to some extent. Democracy should not be abused. Democracy should be respected exactly. and rule of law sh should be also. So uh, we have to, I mean, uh, be uh, in the right balance on that. It seems like a whole generation has been inoculated with this ethnic division mentality for so long. It's how do you change that mindset? We need a unifying uh, kind of uh, motto under our national uh, agenda. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone belongs to a certain clan, a certain exactly. ethnic group, and everyone is different. So we should respect that. Everyone is different by name, the way we are created. So we cannot be the same. No. Even in a country where you have one language and one religion, there is division. Division based on height, division based on age, yes. gender, whatever. So we have to recognize that we are different. And it's good. And we have to uh, embrace that and respect each other. I think we have a country called Ethiopia. We have, I mean, uh, a country that uh, delineates our unity. So we need to work, you know, in those areas. And media should help us in doing so. I know VOA is doing a great job in this regard. All the social media people who have, who think they have ideas, they should bring their ideals uh, in a peaceful way, initiating violence uh, in any way. Exactly. It should not be acceptable. Uh, how is Ethiopian-American relationship in general, and as the former you know, commissioner of Ethiopian investments, uh, what does the U.S. investment in Ethiopia do? Uh, wh what does it look like right now, um, U.S. investment? Yes, uh, the, the, the U.S. investment, the relationship between Ethiopia uh, and the United States has um, elapsed a generation, I mean, a millennium, yes. And now, I mean, uh, century. I mean, uh, we are in the second century. Uh, more than uh, 115 years, to be sp to be exact, 116 years. Uh, and uh, when we see our diplomatic relation, when we see the potential in terms of wealth and entrepreneurship skill that U.S. has and the natural resources and the endowment Ethiopia has, I think there is a little that has been done. And there is a great opportunity that we need to work together uh, to tap that opportunity. Uh, just to give you a figure, mm -hmm. uh, the total investment or trade, I better say, between mm -hmm. the two countries in 2018 stands out uh, not more than two billion. That's the total. Two billion. That's the total. That means uh, the U.S. trade to Ethiopia is close to 1.6 billion, or um, uh, 1.5 something billion. Mm -hmm. Just ha less than half a billion uh, export has been done from uh, Ethiopia to the United States last year. 2018. Uh, this shows, I mean, when you compare this with a figure that we had 10 years ago, it has increased by tenfold Triple, yes. because of the Agro opportunity and some of the U.S. investments like PVH that invested in industrial parks and exporting 100% to the U.S. market. And there are other industry manufacturing companies in footwear, in clothing, uh, and flower farms, coffee, and other um, I mean, uh, products that are exported to the U.S. But again, yes. the value addition in some traditional goods is not that much good. We need to work hard on that and also expand more. I believe 
Africa is the next frontier for manufacturing in the world because it was the West, then moved to the East. Now it makes sense to do business only in Africa when it comes to labor intensive industries. And Africa is the last frontier yes. unless we do our best in Africa, unless we do our best in countries like Ethiopia where close to 70% is used, it's not, you know, it will be too late uh, and it's sad. So we have to use this opportunity N now. Now that you mentioned the youth, is there an effort by the government, your government, to open up space for young entrepreneurs yes. in the field of technology back home? Yes. Um, again, uh, for technology to grow, uh, we need to improve connectivity. Uh, there are some projects going on, uh, but as a country, we need to invest more on connectivity. You can see just in a uh, short time when Madagascar improved its connectivity. It's creating a lot of jobs for the use. Uh, so we have to improve the connectivity and the use will take care of the other. There are huge uh, IT related job opportunities uh, in addition to software development and others, but there are also uh, outsourced uh, outsourcing companies that are looking for uh, an alternative uh, I mean uh, way of doing things from Europe and uh, US. You are a diplomatic agent of the highest rank accredited to the U.S. government and it is incumbent upon you as an ambassador to inform the broad, vibrant uh, diaspora here accurate information, be it good or bad. The diaspora for a long time was at odds with many of the ambassadors who served here. But with the recent visit of Prime Minister Abiy, Things have changed for the better. So how are you going to capitalize on that? Goodwill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I believe uh, in transparency. I've been trying my best through social media, Twitter, Facebook, to reach to uh, the wider public. Uh, and I'll, I promise I'll continue that. And I may say uh, I am lucky to some extent uh, to come at this time of history uh, where changes, I mean, things are changing for the better. Yes. And uh, the struggle that the diaspora has been doing for so long is bearing fruit. So uh, I'll be working hard in a year and with uh, the diaspora uh, to bring uh, better living condition to my people. Your Excellency Fesu Maraga, Ethiopia's newest ambassador, thank you for your input, sir. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you.